Hi. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me. My name is Anna Helmond, and I'm a new media lecturer at the University of Amsterdam, and I also work at the Institute of Network Cultures, which is an Amsterdam research-based institute. Um, I'm focusing my current research on software engine relations, analyzing the entanglement of software and engines on the web. Um, I would like to propose to redefine the current perception we have of the blogger, because people might think of the blogger as a pajama-clad revolutionary or the lonely writer who sits in, in the dark in his room. But I would propose that the blogger is actually some kind of active researcher. One would have to admit that all the research done by bloggers is done through the engines. So uh, the research is engine-based and the blogger is doing some kind of engine uh, work. Then one starts to think about uh, engines and bloggers and how these software engine relations might influence the practice of blogging and the medium of blogging. Um, then one would have to think about the engines. Um, what seems to be missing from the current studies into software is the recognition of the central role that the engines play on the web, and especially in blogging, as my research uh, showed. Um, one actively seems to blog with the engines in mind. Um, there seems to be increasingly uh, a role played by the engines that uh, the blog software is being optimized for the engines. And the engine has uh, a particular idea of what the blogosphere is, namely that the blogosphere is only that which consists of indexable, f um, indexable posts. The blog software seems to be, act, uh, seems to be feeding the, uh, software engines and thereby creating what my, one might call a symbiotic relationship between the software and the engines. In some specificity, the engines index the blogosphere according to side feeds and ping. The WordPress side feeds, by default, only syndicates the five latest posts, which means that um, it reinforces the distinct unit of the post as the native object of the blog. Comments are um, syndicated in a different feed, and pages are not syndicated at all. So what is the blogosphere? According to the engines, it is that which is indexable, which is the five latest posts. The engines see the blogosphere as, an, as a sphere that consists of posts only. The blog role, the pages, and the comments are not part of the blogosphere as seen by the engines. Um, this means that uh, the comments actually form a different part of the blogosphere, what I would like to propose to call the commentosphere. Um, software is increasingly optimized for the engines. Blog standards have enabled the construction of a blogosphere for the engines, for example, with uh, side feeds such as RSS and Atom. But it also means that um, through the entanglement of blog software and the blog engines, uh, the blogger itself is, seems to be subject to a software engine regime. The daily blogging practice brings the users in, directly into the disarray of software engine relations, which uh, includes software engine politics, as illustrated in the case of spam and nofollow. The nofollow attribute, I think, is one of the most important um, implications of the software engine relations. Um, Nofollow uh, instructs the engines to not rank the, the link in the comments um, for their uh, index. However, they are indexed, but it means there's a political decision being made by the engines what to do with the link in the comments. It's a default setting in all major blog software, and it's a visible intervention between the blogger, the blog software, and the blog engines. It's an intervention made by the software makers that the blogger has no control over except for um, reinforcing a do follow plugin which eliminates the no follow rule. Um, that one is going much faster. <laughs> there seems to be a software engine uh, symbiosis in which the software automatically feeds the engines. Um, for in this case, it automatically pings all the servers from Google and Technorati and all the other ones. And the blog is automatically included by default settings into the engines. Um, one might think of the web and Google uh, as the, the entry point into the web. Um, Google is regarded by many people as the start page of the internet. 
and it has thus become also synonymous with the web. I would like to say that um, we use the engines also to enter the blogosphere. On top of that, there seems to be uh, different blogospheres created by the different engines. In a previous case study done with the Digital Methods Initiative of the University of Amsterdam, we asked to what extent do search engines not only map the blogosphere, but also construct it. Um, not only do the engines construct different blogospheres, they also seem to be uh, segregating the web by creating different web spheres. Um, for example, uh, my blog posts are being indexed by Google Blog Search, while my author page, which is the blog page, is being indexed by Google Web. So there's, Google seems to be segregating the web and the other engines as well. The question is whether software engine relations contribute to the construction of these different web spheres. Um, here you can see the software engine relations visualized. Um, this is made by Wire magazine, and it shows uh, the relationship between the blogger, the blog software, and the engines. So my research concerns the radical idea that bloggers do not so much blog for a public or for an audience, but they blog for the engines with the aid of blog software. Thank you very much.